What's going on guys? Investment Coach Chris back here with another stock analysis review and today we're going to be going over the breakdown of DGAS, UGAS, and UNG. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Um, I do videos uh, a lot. I sometimes use my Bandicam software, I use my phone, but what I want to get across to you guys is uh, I want to show you some cool stuff about live trading and I want to record during a trading day and kind of show you how to break down stocks. So let's get started. So today we have DGAS. We come right here. All right. So here we have DGAS. All right. And here we have UGAS. And here we have natural gas. So that is natural gas. Natural gas. It's a cold winter. A lot of people are using gas and gas has been being used a lot but if we look at this chart and this pattern if we look right through here do you see how this relative strength index and this MACD are pointing down okay and it went down this one is down you gas goes down when UNG goes down but when UNG goes down and UGAS goes down, DGAS goes up. Now, the reason that that's important is because if you look at these blue lines, the top, middle, and bottom light blue lines, like this one, this one, and this one, if you notice, that's called a VWAP. That VWAP, that middle line is the average price and a standard deviation of plus two and minus two. So average, standard deviation two up, standard deviation two down. So that's two higher than the middle and two lower than the middle. Our goal for this stock trade, and this is what I am trying to do today, is this stock went down, 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 called on this line, and then came over here to this middle VWAP, I'm hoping that because the relative strength index is going up and the MACD is going up and this is green and we're at the VWAP, that we can break this line and then head up to right about this line to where our simple and exponential, or our, yeah, our simple and exponential moving averages are. So maybe somewhere right between these two, maybe somewhere like right in here to sell off. Now. Does that mean that's gonna happen? Of course not. You never know what's gonna happen in stocks. But if I have to pick between something that's showing me a current downtrend going down with gas and something going up at a middle VWAP, I'm hoping that we break above the VWAP and then continue to go up to which we can sell because we're right now, our price point is somewhere around right here. This is where we bought into the stock. We bought in at this dip down here, right? Went down, it had been going down, down, down all day. And then right when we started to hit right around here and started heading up, we got back in. So we're hoping that we can get in here, which we did, come up, and then maybe if we play our cards right, get a sell up through here. So that's kind of a breakdown of exactly how I'm trying to trade this. Now, it's very possible that this turns red and falls down and continues down, but what we're trying to see is which one is gonna be the stronger stock. Are we gonna to continue to rise? Well, we can look at level two data. Each one of these represents 100, so that's 196 or 301 times 100 orders at 277. So if a lot of people are buying at 277 and 278, um, the more buyers you have, the better chance to push the price up. So the more buyers and it goes a little green. Now you guys has got more sellers. A lot of sellers will typically drive the price down. So if all works out good, maybe we can get a bunch of buyers to push D gas up and get to our price point. And at that point we could choose to sell. So. This video has been about five minutes and it breaks down a very rational and articulate style in which I would advise you to trade your stocks. If you like these videos, post questions, I'll make response videos. You guys have a great day.